Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Stories Untold. Now this odd game is kind of like that one game that was based on a bunch of VHS tapes that you found that I played last year. But it wasn't this game. It definitely wasn't this game. This is a game about four different stories taking place at once. And that's literally all I know about it. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh. Wow. That's kind of a lot like Stranger Things. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. That's very much, very much like the opening to Stranger Things. But I'm not, I'm going to overlook that. This game's highly reviewed. I know very little about it, but it's cool. Oh, okay. Hi. It's Pony Island. Hello. The house abandoned. Sorry. The, the house, house abandoned. abandoned. Interactive horror adventure. You could stop that anytime now. Oh. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Oh. Oh! Oh, hello, world. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <gasps> Wait, oh, look in glove box. <gasps> Open glove box. It's a text-based adventure game! I haven't played one of these in a... Well, I guess I'm not playing it anymore now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I got places to be. Got things to do. Okay. Uh, open glove box. Take. Oh. Um, I guess I took the key. Okay. Get out of car. This is like, I haven't, the last one I played was Don't Shit Your Pants. That was the last typing based game I've ever seen. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Look at house! Look, sorry, look at house! The lights are all off, no one else is here. Uh... Go around side. Take a walk around the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. All right. Look around. Generator on the back wall of the house. Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it worse to life. The house is still dark. That's okay. I got the generator on. Go to front. You walk back around to the front of the house. I know how this works. Look at tree. Look around. Oh, the trees stretch up to the night sky. There's a house in the yard. Look at yard. Space's yard extends around the back of the house. A great place to relax in the long summers. Okay. Go in house. Door appears to be locked. You will need to... Okay. Unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door clicks open. Okay. Open door. There we go. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip switch. Flip light switch. There we go. Lights come on, dot, dot, dot. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go in kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Eat food! Open refrigerator. Look around. <sighs> Exit kitchen. Uh, go in living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. 
warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Okay, good to know. Go back. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Go in sister's bedroom. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful, soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look around, there's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Okay, look in wardrobe. A large clothes wardrobe. Us unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never liked you going through her stuff. Open wardrobe. It is empty, apart from the pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Leave. I want, I want to perfectly admit, I love text-based games because it's all in your mind. It's just like the thing that's standing behind you right now. It's all in your mind. But don't look at it because then it becomes real. Same as this thing staring at you from your window. Go in your room. You walk in your old room. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Look at box. Hmm, open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Ah, always good to dig up old computers and whatnot and open them with reckless abandon. Oh, a copy of the house abandoned. Play the house abandon. I don't know what you're trying to use. Use Futuro. I don't know what you're trying to use. Play computer. Use computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Yeah, play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Okay! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Um... Alright. This is cool. I'm okay with this! This is all good! I like this! This is great! I'm so happy about this, don't you? Don't worry about me. Club if it's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Open glove box. Inside's a key. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, Get out, 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 you force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard in the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all the happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay, uh, feel the love. Uh, look for love. Um, look at house. The lights are off, windows are broken. There is the front door and a yard. Okay. Uh, go around the back. Where would you like to go? Go around the side. You step through the debris in the backyard. The grass is overgrown. That was not the right button. <laughs> anyway, and the weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. A brake generator. 
uh, turn on generator, play smooth jazz for the generator. Oh no. That's not good. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go back. Open door. Oh no. You wouldn't dare do that to me. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Touch note. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, flip on light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and tra- <laughs> oh! Ah! Uh, upstairs, the sounds of an alarm clock. Wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent. The stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. The note feels disgusting, disgusting. in your hands. Feel note. Mm, read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. That's normal. Go in the kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks. It feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. I didn't know about the utility room. That I didn't know about. Uh, look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Eat carcass. You are disappointed in yourself for even going there. Eat. Arcus. Okay, go in utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Look around. There seems to be writing on the wall and what looks like blood. Read writing. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, back in the hallway, your shoes are wet. The noise is stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, the stairs leading up. Go in living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, because everything is dead. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Look at furniture. The furniture looks disgusting. There's no way you'd sit on it. Sit on furniture. No chance. Read note. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Ah, okay, leave. Okay, back in the hallway. I think we have to go upstairs now. You head up the stairs, they creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's- ah! No! You don't understand, neither can he! Alright, uh, look around! You can't focus, the ringing in your ears is too much! Uh, read note! Can't hear what you're saying, okay, answer phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Look around. You can't hear yourself think it's too much. Hang up. Relief. Oh, relief. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Your room and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall. The wall. But something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Go in bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Eat bugs. Look at bugs. Look around. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look in mirror. 
You can't bear to look at yourself. Why? Don't look in your mirror. You never know what it's going to look back. Okay, let's leave. Step back onto the landing. Enter sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Enter my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. Read note. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Do it. Go. I only- Oh, 1986! Oh, that would probably be it. Okay, 1986. The lock clicks open. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good! Go in my room. The door is closed. Open my door. <sighs> Hi, friend! How are you doing? Go in room! I'm not sure which room you would like to go. Go in my room. You entered your bedroom. Uh oh. Ah! The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You should you be here. here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take. Even in this place. I was out of my hands. But still, you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end. Now. Leave room? You can't leave here. This is where it has to end. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. I looked at the person. Hug a person. Sorry, okay, um... You are pathetic. It was all your fault, say it. It wasn't my fault. Oh, please stop. I'm not guilty. It was all my fault, say it. It was not my fault. Just say it. No. 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 You first. No. It was all my fault. F I N O A L L Y Pippity Poppity Pippity Poo. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That was fascinating. But what did I miss? That's what I gotta- that's the thing about all these text-based games! There's always secret codes and stuff that you can poke in, and you can know about, and then you can find out of the ways. Was there multiple endings to that, or was it just all very linear? Because it seemed very linear towards the end, I was really trying to explore. Alright, that was super cool. I looked it up, apparently there aren't any secrets in the first chapter, at least in the first chapter. I'm not sure about the second ones, I didn't want to see, just in case I didn't want to spoil anything for myself, but that was really cool. I'm curious if the next one is going to be similar to that. I don't know for sure, but I want to find out. So I'm going to play the next one and then uh, I might finish up three and four in another episode. All right, let's do the lab conduct. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love this. I love the style of it, the storytelling of it. Oh, can I skip this? Okay. Oh. This is subject 12 19 23 new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Oh. When you're ready, let's bring this back. 
I don't understand anything that you just said. I have no idea anything that you were talking about. What were you talking about? Oh. 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 <gasps> Can I clicky? Oh my god. Oh, I have no idea what this all is. Oh. <gasps> But it's so cool. That's a heart. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's turn this off because they said something about turning off unnecessary equipment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly that. Okay. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor. Okay. Manual. Oh. Oh. Mm. This is. Uh. That's a lot of. That's a lot! That's a lot of things! That's a lot of things that you're trying to teach me! Oh, it's like I'm back in engineering school. I don't understand anything that you're talking to me about. Okay. Drill. Press. Oh no. Oh no. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Okay, do not leave the container undetended during experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. This is not safe. Six. Ah, okay. All right. Well, experiment. X-ray the artifact, determine its internal structure. Okay. X-ray. Camera, monitor, charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay. So I need the camera. I need the monitor. I need the CC86 X-ray device. Camera monitor set to X-ray. Okay. CC86 is a below the drill. This thing. Charging. All right. Bang, boom, here we go. Oh. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. So it's dead, but I don't think that's a good idea. I, why is it? Where is this a human heart? Is this an alien heart? Is this a demon heart? What do we do? A surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Oh. Oh, easy. Oh, okay. Laser light generator. 650 nanometers. Monitor to RGB. Okay, let's, let's turn the monitor. RGB laser 650 Go, baby, go! No reaction from first stage. Let's try a higher frequency. What frequency? Green, okay, green. Green is, uh, 510. Okay, alright. 510. Okay, we have a... Reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm no scientist. Blue. Okay. Blue. Blue is 455. Easy peasy. Put 455 five, and uh, bing, bang, boom. Oh. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Why do we have a pulse? Why? Why do we have a pulse? Why is there a pulse? Why is there a pulse? Acoustic resonance. Yeah, let's blast it with sound, why don't we? 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. Okay. Signal generator, amplifier. Okay, uh, signal generator, turn the laser off. Oh yeah, crank that shit. 250 and one. Okay, let's see what happens. It's not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, yeah, okay, all right. 505, you got it, baby, you got it. Anything for you, big papa. Bing. Okay, go. Oh, no. Oh, it's not happy! Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase to the risk of damage? What about, uh, velocity? 
Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. What do you mean we're running out of time? What do you mean we're running out of time? What do you mean we're running out of time? Switch to square wave. Okay. Square wave it is. Ooh, uh, that's probably not good. I'm a. Mm, I'm really. We're seeing good activity on this side. Oh yeah, real good. Oh good. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. I don't trust. I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. All right. Maintain gain five in the square form. Bring wave f wave form up to one kilohertz. You got it, boss. Oh yeah, this see this feels good. This feels good. Yeah, this is real good. This is good stuff. This is good. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Three, two, one. Bloop. Oh ho, ho, nailed it. Oh full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear it? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. What? Wait, what and happened? Alleviate some of this discomfort. What happened? What is- what happened? What do you mean, what happened? The protective casing is off. Proceed to the drill- to drill the surface. Wait, we- so we popped off the heart? Is that what we did? We just exploded the heart? Okay, we're sure. Drill. Sure, all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Okay. All right, camera. Off, off. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be great. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh. Um. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. I don't feel good! Why do I don't feel good? I feel bad. Make contact with the artifact! Oh! Okay! Yeah! This is the opener up! Bada bing bada boom! Clunk? Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry about your heart. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. What are we remembering? Also, that's a hell of a flashing light. Ah! My eyes! Good. Great. Oh, great. Let's do this. Whatever it is. Here we go. Great. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Here we go again. You wake up in the cryopod. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Okay. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at computer. 
The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks unusable. Use computer. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Okay, open door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, they're not like the others. There's more detail here, less hazy. Lean in, see what else is high. Here we go! Thank you! This is great! Okay, thank you! Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flick on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully call through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Oh. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. I, I don't feel proud! That doesn't reassure me in any way, shape, or form! That doesn't reassure me at all! Thank you for that. Thank you for that. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed, in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Memories of these. When did this happen? Oh. A series of wires leave the machine and run across our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. The fluid looks thick and dark. We can feel a transfer, but not which direction. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them, some sort of writing. We can't reach the door, effectively tethered to the machine. Remove wires. Whoa! What just happened? Oh. Uh, we yank at the wires protruding. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. I don't know about that. I need to get more daily dose of vitamin light. Ah! Oh. Okay, well that's... Oh, great. Great, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone, together. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door has an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device, taken from your It's My Our ship. 
It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Uh, use terminal. Oh. What is that? We haven't seen that before. Mr. Agent, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. There we go. Got it. Just had to look into the light for a little bit longer. Oh. Oh. Hello. Okay. All right, I'm going I'm going for this willingly. Uh oh. Mr. Please don't do this. We we mean you. We mean them no harm. Please don't do something you'll regret. Wait. One day, Mr. Asian. This will haunt you. I don't know what I did. I'm not 100% sure what I did at all. But I feel good about it. I feel good. That was a weird one. But I like it. This is so cool. This is so cool. So that is the first half of Untold Stories. A really interesting game. I used to play these types of games as a kid a lot. And they were always fun because it felt like the world was a lot bigger than it was. And it kind of combines having a game today where you can have this environment in this world and you can do the storytelling through the great art and whatnot. But you can also let the imagination take you and feel like you have some input on it. There are some with withdrawals from that, like just in terms of like not being able to do everything you want to type in. But limitations are there. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you want to see the other two episodes of this from me, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see other scary games that I've done, I'll put them in the description. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!